Well, this is one of my very favorite paintings, a painting by John Francis Murphy. The sky is what caught my attention first. It sets the mood. It's not a beautiful blue sky, a bright sunny day. It's not a storm. or It just is somewhere in between, like a melancholy day that is quiet and peaceful and damp, probably a little on the damp side. Not too cold, not too hot. The trees are doing quite well, although it looks like they're push going into autumn. And the next thing would be the distant hills, which are, which are just the right value, like to, to show that they are, there is a visual perspective here and the edges are very soft. And for some reason in my mind, I seem to be able to visualize exactly how far away that distant hill is back of the house. And that, that's very, very interesting. And then we come to the roof of the house, which reflects the light of the sky, like a mirror sitting at 45 degree angle. You are going to see the sky. So the light comes down and shines down onto the roof of the house and reflects off to the viewer. With the white water coming in, the water seems a little on the white side to me, but it is going to definitely pull your attention and establish a, um, a focal, not so much a focal point, but an area of the painting that is of the most interest with the black tree, big fat black tree trunk, and the uh, perfectly white water. And then the roof of the house. I think we have established an area of interest in the painting. And as if that were not sufficient to hold it together, the beautiful trees are just unbelievable. Every tree is completely different. The colors, the shapes, the, 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 the state of the condition of the leaves and so on is, is, is all, everyone is different. It's, it really is magnificent. And then he has brought the yellows into the front. What's closest to you uh, has a more yellow component, which is uh, the way it is, because yellow is the very first color to lose its, its intensity as it moves off into the distance. I, I really think we have a, have a very, very good painting here. And uh, right at the very bottom, close to me, there is some, some kind of grassy weeds or something that are no longer too too bright or too too alive. But there are there are remnants of them just sitting here, right in the in the front. It, and it, it's it's a very good painting with the reflection of the trees in the water and the sky in the water and. I I would highly recommend spending a little time studying this uh, painting. Be, to it, it can really help your uh, your landscape painting, and the the deep depth of the darks under the trees, is, and so on. It, there's just so much here that uh, is of is of great value. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video and. And um, don't forget to subscribe and, and like it. It certainly means a lot to me. Thank you.